In this section, we will set the boundary conditions that govern our simulation. The first thing we will look at are the physics regions. Only one physics region is automatically created, so we need to redefine it. And under location, instead of having the 12 volumes, we will select only the flow volume created in the geometry step. And now we can add another physics region. This time, we will only select the thermal physics type, and for the location, we will choose all 10 chips and the CPU, and now we can apply the changes. Because we added another physics region, we now need to add another material assignment. This time, we will choose copper and assign it to thermal physics region 2. Now we're ready to specify the fluid flow conditions. So we'll go to fluid flow conditions, add, and add an inlet. And for the location, we'll use the face selection filter to select the, these two inlet faces. And for the magnitude, we know from the problem description that the velocity is 57.609 inches per second. And we also know that the temperature is 114 degrees Fahrenheit. And now we can also add an outlet. The location for the outlet are the two faces on the back side of the geometry. And from the problem description, we know that the pressure is zero pascals. And we also need to allow reverse flow and specify the temperature to be 114 degrees Fahrenheit. And now we also need to account for the heat generation in the chips. So we'll go under solid thermal conditions and add a heat source. For the location, we'll select the 11 bodies being the 10 chips and the CPU. And the source per unit volume we also can get from the problem description is 40,682 watts per meter cubed. We also need to add another solid thermal condition, this time an insulated boundary. And for the location, underneath the geometry on the bottom face, we'll use the face selection filter to select each of the bottoms of the chips and the CPU. And lastly, we'll add a wall whose location is automatically defined. So the location for the wall is every face that we haven't already specified a boundary condition for. And back under the physics task, it's telling us we need to add a region interface generator. So we'll complete that we need to take a look under solver options and open solution controls and change the convergence criteria to a value of 1 to the negative 3. This allows our simulation to converge and now we can solve the physics.